Hello everyone, welcome back to the table. Today I have a brand new knife for you and this is actually one of the newest releases from Great Eastern Cutlery. So I wanted to just make a quick comparison and show off some of its features. So this right here is the Great Eastern Cutlery number 71, the Sud Buster. And so what makes this knife special and unique is the fact that we have two blades on here. One of them of course being the bottle opener that we can see right here. So we have a full-size bottle opener on this knife, hence the name Sud Buster. So you can see the picture on the tube right there. And we also have a nice flat edge screwdriver on the tip of that as well. And so that does add, you know, a smidge of utility to what otherwise is a very straightforward um, tool. And this is, of course, a Greaser and Cutlery pocket knife. So this is our Sud Buster style knife. And you can see the main blade right here. And for those of you who are not familiar with the size of these knives, um, we can pull out a ruler real quick and we can check that out. So we can see right here the overall length of this knife is just a hair over seven inches. And the blade length comes in right around three inches long. And so that is our sod buster, sud buster, bull buster, whatever they want to call them. Um, but this particular one is in black linen. And with this newest release, they've had this in several colors. I've seen green so far. I've seen natural micarta. But this is the black linen so it's very smooth. You can see the shininess of the texture. Um, the pivot right there, of course, very polished. F and F stands for farm and field tool. So all the number 71s fall under that designation. So we can see that on the blade as well. Made in USA, of course. I do like the markings on the blade right here with the Sud Buster logo. GEC markings on the rear. So very nice little drop point blade with a satin finish. And I think this is a 1095 carbon steel blade. So as you use this knife, it's going to carry, you know, a nice little um, finish on it after a while. So the pull on this knife is a little bit heavier than I thought it would be. Um, the bottle opener opens pretty simply, which I like. I'm glad the bottle opener is easy to access, but you definitely do need to use the nail nicks. They're not really pinchable. So we can see that those can open and close. And when the knife is open, you can see how flush the back springs are. So let's do that for the blade too. There we go. Nice and flush all the way around. Interior of the knife is fairly clean. Hard to see on camera. Let me get the right angle there. There you go. You can kind of see inside. Nice and clean interior on this number 71. So very nice to see this one. This particular one I did pick up on eBay. So I bought it, I guess you could say secondhand, even though it was from a dealer. <laughs> so it was brand new. Um, but unfortunately, the hard part about these knives on the table is just getting one. They are very hard to come by. Great Eastern Cutlery is very high quality. And there are a lot of collectors, a lot of people who really, really want these knives for themselves. So every time they come out with a dealer, they generally sell out within seconds, literally, like I'm saying, within seconds of being dropped. Um, so we can do a quick comparison, though, between this black variant of the knife and uh, the red and green. So this right here is red linen micarta. And you can see, again, the very same smooth pattern on it, uh, marked bullnose instead of sudbuster. And of course, there's no bottle opener. Um, what's really nice, though, is looking at the thickness is that they kept the sudbuster about the same thickness as the bullnose, even though it has the two different tools on it. So they made those micarta scales nice and thin. So I think the next thing that everyone is going to clamor for is getting one of these bullnose knives, you know, with the same thin micarta scales, but still with just the main blade, just to make it a lot slimmer in pocket. So this one right here, of course, you can see is green linen micarta. You know, with these three knives, or th th these two knives here, <laughs> I really just happened to luck out on drops. I clicked fast enough, and I happened to be able to purchase them. You know, I didn't really want to risk it with the Sud Buster, because I think there's going to be a little bit more interest in the Sud Buster, because from what I've noticed, all of their knives that have the built-in bottle opener tend to generate a lot more interest, even than your standard run-of-the-mill 71s that are already really, really popular with collectors. So the Sud Buster here also came with the button. So we can just see that. I don't know if people collect those. And of course, the difference in the tubes between the two models. So number 71 Bullnose, number 71 Sud Buster. You can just see the markings there. Different model numbers. 
but not a whole lot of difference besides that. So really impressive. I love GEC knives. The only th downside, like I said, with these knives is getting a hold of them, you know. And um, I did slightly overpay for this one, like I said, just because I wanted to guarantee that I could have one. Um, because if you wait too long, these knives are going to be well over $200 on the secondary market, which is insane. Um, I really think they should, you know, cost the original user the price that they are sold for, which is, I want to say it's like around 100 bucks. Um, you know, for a U.S. made slip joint, that's a great deal. But once you're spending two, three hundred dollars just for that grail knife, that's when the value starts to fall flat on its face. So other than that, I really did just wanted to make a quick comparison between these three knives. So red, black, and green. Pick your poison. <laughs> what do you think about the Sudbuster here? I really do like the bottle opener. That makes the knife to me much more appealing, much more likely to actually take it places and use it as opposed to being a safe queen. Um, but you tell me what you think. Please leave a comment below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was timely enough. See y'all later.